Many disarmament policies and treaties have been put forward. Some have been signed but with no real commitment. Most treaties are for public support or very political. Hardly any real military forces have been de decommissioned. The fall of the Berlin Wall and the removal of the barricades along some of the so-called satellite countries was to mark the ending of the Cold War and the demise of the Soviet Union. Nuclear weapons cost billions of dollars to produce. It could be said if nuclear weapons didn't exist, there would be enough money to feed every human being on the planet. However, one must consider the economic consequences of producing nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons has created thousands of jobs for the new industry, so economic change will take a long time, and because of, because of a lack of equality and fear of other nations, the great powers are either unwilling or unable to decommission their nuclear arsenals. Even though the current nuclear damage potential on this planet is at somewhat overkill, enough firepower to destroy the earth ten times over. The Soviet army was pulling out of Europe. However, would the Soviet Union really allow a reunited Germany to join NATO, the West's alliance? After many years, the Iron Curtain was withdrawing back into Russia and most of the communist countries were starting to get back their independence back, mainly due to the Gorbachev's reforms for relaxed Soviet control. Gorbachev was losing control, the Soviet Union was collapsing from within. Boris Yeltsin was to become the new president of a new nation, the Democratic Russian Federation. because there were so many suspicions on both sides. The West exaggerated the strength of the Soviet Union. We could not possibly have moved into Europe. We were a devastated country. We'd lost millions of people. It's also a known fact that because of the ever-increasing military forces, vital resources is being squandered on war materials. Instead of bettering our economy and eliminating poverty and starvation. For over 40 years, the United States led the West in the struggle against communism and the threat it posed to our most precious values. This struggle shaped the lives of all Americans. It forced all nations to live under the specter of nuclear destruction. That confrontation is now over. Here's what could happen to any typical large city attacked by nuclear weapons. <laughs>